What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my fantasy football starts and sits for NFL Week 5. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over the running back position and give you my 2019 fantasy football starts and sits for NFL Week 5. This should help you decide who you want to start in your season long fantasy football leagues. And we will show you how to use the draft dashboard tools to dominate your season long fantasy leagues. You can find waiver wire targets, get player point projections, find the best positional matchups to see who is projected to score the most fantasy points this week. These tools will help you decide what players to start in your fantasy football leagues. We have it all right here so let's get into it. Okay guys, week five running backs. I'm starting David Johnson from the Arizona Cardinals playing the Cincinnati Bengals who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing running backs. David Johnson has averaged 18.6 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of seven pass targets per game and rushing the ball an average of 12 times per game. He only scored eight fantasy points in week two, which concerned some people, but he followed up that bad performance with a 19 and a 22 last week. He got 11 targets last week and 11 rush attempts. He's been heavily involved in this offense, and I think some people are still underestimating his ability. He's projected at 18.4 fantasy points here in week five. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 47 points scored in this game, and it's gonna be a close one. They have the Bengals favored by three, but I like David Johnson as a solid start because he's not game script dependent. If the Cardinals are up, they've got David Johnson on the field running out the clock. And if they're down, they got David Johnson on the field involved in the passing game. So he's always out there fantasy producing. He's got a great matchup this week versus the Cincinnati Bengals, who just got torched by the Seattle Steelers running backs. So I'm definitely starting David Johnson here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Another guy I'm starting this week, which some people may have concerns about, is Le'Veon Bell from the New York Jets playing the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles have the third worst defense overall, but they're pretty good versus running backs, giving up the fourth fewest fantasy points versus running backs. I think that matchup is gonna scare some people off of Le'Veon Bell, but he's still averaging 18.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting 18.7 rush attempts per game and 7.7 .7 pass targets per game. So that's enormous volume, an average of over 25 touches a week. He's projected at 17.4 fantasy points here in week five. Now the game script looks a little scary here. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 44.5 points scored in this game, and they've got the Jets trailing by 13 and a half. But because of those 7.7 .7 targets per game, Le'Veon Bell, just like David Johnson, is gonna be on the field blowout or not, no matter what the score is. If they're behind, he's gonna be on the field getting those pass targets. And if they're ahead, he's gonna be on the field trying to run out the clock. So despite the poor running back matchup on paper, the Philadelphia Eagles don't have a great defense overall, and Bell is the Jets' best player. So I like starting Le'Veon Bell here versus the Philadelphia Eagles. So the next guy's been flying under the radar a little bit. He hasn't performed that well this season so far, but I'm starting Joe Mixon from the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Arizona Cardinals, who have the second worst defense overall, and they're a middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Joe Mixon is averaging 9.3 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting almost 12 rush attempts per game and just about four pass targets per game. So you'd like to see a little more volume with Joe Mixon. He scored 10 fantasy points last week, but that was a game on Monday night that they were trailing most of the game. So the game script was not on his side. He's projected at 16 fantasy points here in week five. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 47 points scored in this game, and they have this as a competitive game with the Bengals favored by three points. This is a home game for Joe Mixon. It should be a competitive game throughout, and he's got a great matchup versus the Arizona Cardinals. So I'm starting Joe Mixon versus the Cardinals 
here in week five, and this next running back has just started heating up. I'm starting Leonard Fournette from the Jacksonville Jaguars playing the Carolina Panthers, who've got the sixth best defense overall, but they give up the 12th most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Leonard Fournette is averaging 17.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of 18 rush attempts per game and just about six pass targets per game. He's projected at 17.4 fantasy points here in week five, and Leonard Fournette broke out and scored 30 fantasy points last game. He had 29 rush attempts and three pass attempts. So it looks like they're going run heavy in Jacksonville and they need Leonard Fournette to show up if they want to win games. I think he builds on last week's momentum and Vegas thinks this is going to be a close game. They've got Carolina favored by three and a half. So Leonard Fournette should be on the field. So I'm starting Leonard Fournette here versus the Carolina Panthers. The next running back I'm starting if I got him is Mark Ingram from the Baltimore Ravens playing the Pittsburgh Steelers who have the 14th worst defense overall and they give up the 8th most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Mark Ingram is averaging 20.8 fantasy points per game on the season. A lot of that is due to the 39 fantasy point outburst that he had two weeks ago. He put up 9 fantasy points last game and he's doing that on 14 rush attempts per game and 2 pass targets per game. So he's not hitting the 20 touch mark on average, which is what you want to see from your fantasy running backs. He's projected at 13 fantasy points here in week five. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 44 points scored in this game. And they've got Baltimore ahead by three and a half points in this one. I think there's going to be a lot of goal line work for Mark Ingram. He's got a chance for one or two touchdowns this game. I think Baltimore rebounds from that loss to the Browns last week and the Pittsburgh Steelers still without Ben Roethlisberger could be in trouble here in week five. So I'm starting Mark Ingram here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before I continue with the sits, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. And you guys are going to want to subscribe to this channel. It's totally free. All you have to do is tap that red subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you'll get notified of all of our new uploads. We're going to be doing season long fantasy football videos every single day. So stop what you're doing, click that subscribe button, join the team and get this free fantasy football content every single day. Okay, week five running back sits. I'm sitting Chris Thompson from the Washington Redskins playing the New England Patriots who have the absolute best defense overall and they're giving up the second fewest fantasy points to opposing running backs. Chris Thompson has averaged 12.4 fantasy points per game on the season. He's only getting an average of four rush attempts per game, but he's getting seven pass targets per game. He's projected at 12.6 fantasy points here in week five, but this is a tough matchup versus the Patriots. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 43 points scored in this game, and they have the Washington Redskins trailing by 15. So it's most likely gonna be a passing game script, which Chris Thompson is involved in, but I don't feel comfortable starting him, even at home. I think the matchup is gonna be a little too tough to overcome. So I'm sitting Chris Thompson here versus the New England Patriots. Another guy I'm gonna sit this week is Josh Jacobs from the Oakland Raiders playing the Chicago Bears who have the third best defense overall and give up the six fewest fantasy points to opposing running backs. Josh Jacobs is averaging 12.9 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of 15.5 rush attempts per game. He gets one to two pass targets a game, mostly involved in the rushing attack. I liked him last week. He got 17 touches last week, put up 13 fantasy points, 
but this week versus the Bears, he's only projected to get 9.7 fantasy points. Vegas thinks there's going to be 40 points scored in this game, and they've got the Raiders trailing by 5. Even with the increased volume that Jacobs has been seeing, I don't trust the matchup, so I'm going to sit Josh Jacobs here versus the Chicago Bears. Okay, the next guy I'm sitting is Peyton Barber from the Tampa Bay Bucks playing the New Orleans Saints, who don't have a good defense overall, but they're giving up the fifth fewest fantasy points to opposing running backs. Peyton Barber is averaging 9.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting 13.3 rush attempts per game and two pass targets a game. He's only projected at 7.9 fantasy points here in week five. Tampa Bay has a newfound passing attack with James Winston and his wide receivers firing on all cylinders the past couple of weeks. I'm gonna sit both Tampa Bay running backs. So I'm sitting Peyton Barber here versus the New Orleans Saints. Another guy who I've liked in the previous weeks, but I'm gonna sit here in week five, is Carlos Hyde from the Houston Texans playing the Atlanta Falcons, who have a middle of the pack defense overall and a middle of the pack defense versus running backs. Carlos Hyde is averaging 9.2 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of 13 rush attempts per game and only one and a half pass targets per game. Five of those came in the game last week where he put up 10 fantasy points. This is a home game for Carlos Hyde. And if I'm wrong on any of these five sets, I think it's gonna be Carlos Hyde. Vegas does project this game to score 49 points. They've got the Houston Texans ahead by five but it's tough because Carlos Hyde is a touchdown dependent running back. He hasn't been seeing enough carries or enough action to make him worth a start unless you absolutely need him. I think the Atlanta defense is gonna come out and play with pride. I think there's a bounce back game from Atlanta coming and I think they're gonna beat the Houston Texans this week. So I'm gonna sit Carlos Hyde in week five versus the Atlanta Falcons. And this last sit may be obvious to you guys out there, but I just wanted to bring it up. I'm gonna sit Tony Pollard from the Dallas Cowboys playing the Green Bay Packers, who have the seventh best defense overall, but they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing running backs. So you might see that running back matchup versus Green Bay and think, hey, I'll get cute here. I'm gonna play Tony Pollard. He scored 25 fantasy points a couple weeks ago. Don't fall into that trap. Tony Pollard is averaging 7.7 .7 fantasy points per game on the season, only getting seven and a half rush attempts per game, and he was non-existent last game. So unless it's a huge blowout, don't expect to see much work from Tony Pollard. Ezekiel Elliott's gonna be the man versus Green Bay this week, and Vegas thinks this is gonna be a pretty close game within three and a half points. So no blowout here. Don't get cute with Tony Pollard. I'm gonna sit Tony Pollard here versus the Green Bay Packers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL, MLB is still going, NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for NFL Week 5. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck. Do you want more fantasy football starts and sits for NFL Week 5? Check out the video linked right in the middle of the screen. Tap that video to continue getting more week five fantasy football. Don't miss out on our free content. Hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second, means a lot to us. Thanks again, and thanks for watching.